So today is kind of a smorgasbord kind of shoot, but it's going to be fun. So I'm shooting with the Nikon ZF, the 40mm F2, and the Godox V350 with the Nano. Um, because I want to put my money where my mouth is and, and show you how much fun this is. We'll be shooting inside and outside, taking advantage of this gorgeous weather. It's so sunny and beautiful out. A little chilly, it's probably, it's just a little chilly, but not bad. Anyway, but I also want to shoot with the um, TT Artisan 51.4 again, um, because, you know, it did move a little bit. It's a little less now that it's less stiff on the focusing. You know, there is some movement there, but it doesn't affect the images at all. And it is slight movement now. I, I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. I have, but, but I wanted to shoot with this, and I'm going to use a flash as well. I'm just going to take the Pro Photo on a stand, um, the Pro Photo A2 on a stand, so I can, you know, concentrate on, you know, focusing this and, and seeing how the images are. Because I don't think it would be fair just, you know, half assing focusing with this. Anyway, so that's our shoot for today. It's, it's going to be a blast, actually, and, and to see, you know, what we can do with, you know, this little setup. <laughs> and this is all I'm going to carry for that second part of this, or the first part, whatever it's going to be. This is a nice little setup. Um, but anyway, let's get to the shoot, take a look, and see what we can do. So I decided to start with the TT Artisan, um, and I do have the light on the stand because I just wanted to focus... Um, focus on focusing because <laughs> uh, I didn't want to like cheat the lens at all and the movement like I said because the lens is loosened up after using it you know it's it I don't get that movement on the on the mount anymore uh, it's there if you like reach down and move it but um, you would have to reach down and grab it and, and really try to move it it's actually working pretty well now I, and I I really did want to give this lens a fair shake I'm telling you what like I used, you know, a little bit more flash in these, um, you know, just because I wanted to be able to, you know, zoom in a little bit and take a look at the rendering and so forth. And it's really nice. I am wide open. I'm wide, wide open 1.4 on all these. Um, you know, I didn't stop down at all because I just wanted to show you the rendering at wide open. I think it's really nice for skin. It's not soft. It's just, I don't know, It's it just renders nicely. Um, the out-of-focus area, I think, are nice. I don't think they're busy or anything like that. But it's a nice lens. Now, I'm back in the studio. You know, she had this outfit on, and I thought, like, this would be really nice for a white background in studio and, like, flash that's more in your face. Um, uh, you know, like, I like this look a lot. And I wanted to try it with the, the V350 and the Nikon setup. It's, it's a good look for this. You know, I'd prefer using the flash right on camera for this, but I'm, I just wanted to stick with this. Now, this is what I'm getting without flash, and, you know, these are what I'm getting with flash. And you'll notice, like, all up and down the flash just a little bit, the power uh, to give it more of a blown-out look, um, and then a more contrasty look. And then I'll move the flash up and down to give that shadow and control that shadow up and down as well. Closer to the lens, obviously, you're, you're going to get more of a ring light type of flash or shadow. And then, you know, when you move it up, it, you're going to drop the shadow down just a little bit and you'll see it more. I, I like both looks, but it's completely up to you and how do you want to do it. Now, obviously, again, if you move her off the background more, you're going to see a little less shadow because it'll drop lower. Um, and then closer to the backdrop, you're going to see, you know, the ring light kind of effect when you hold the flash closer. But, you know, going back and forth, up and down, it's it's just fun. You can control the light. And if she looks great, you're going to ignore the shadow. Like, and everybody else will too. It just doesn't matter. And sometimes you don't want to ignore that shadow because it gives depth to the images and, and it gives, you know, a spatial kind of look. Now, these are, like, I literally turn the flash different directions so I can just get that different look. Now we're outside, and I really wanted to show you what the light can do outside. I mean, this is, it's a nice image. I don't have giant soft boxes and so forth. It's just me and that tiny little flash. Um, and it just does a nice job with the fill. Now, these, the pole thing, it's, I just wanted to show you, um, here's before. And, you know, obviously it needs some light to pick it up. And, and for those of you that say, oh, you can pull it out and post, like, why not just throw a tiny little flash like this in your pocket and give it that little boost? You know, this is the before and, and here's after. This 
This is that little V350, nothing else. And that's a bare head. Um, it does a nice job. This is more of an in your face kind of flash, but right there, but this is, you know, more natural. Uh, you can get natural looking fill light with just this little pocket flash that, that produces great images. Again, don't try to compete with the sun with this. It's just, it's not for that. It's the fill in shadows. Um, and it's a great little look. Now, as we were walking in to finish this shoot, I saw this little uh, area in the building. I thought, oh, this would be kind of cool just to see what the 40 F2 can do with this. Um, again, pocket flash, no big modifiers. I like the look. Hope you enjoyed the shoot.